Hello guys, today I am going to do some uh, breakfast and I'm going to pack some food for the boys because they're gonna live for a whole day. I'm trying to accomplish a breakfast and a lunch in the morning hours <laughs> and that's always a rush. It's always the craziest time in our home. And I'm making it's kind of sort of like a similar than the marble cake I previously created I'm just trying to play around with the toppings so this time I use some apple sauce in there and I'm going to just put some honey on the top and some walnut and the honey when you bake everything it just makes everything more brown it burns faster so I just tried to, to play around with some pattern <laughs> and walnut is amazing it's soft but when you toast them it's even better and I sprinkled some cinnamon on the top and to have my morning sometimes if I'm more energized at night <laughs> I like to prepare food that is usually a casserole and I like to bake them a little bit more than halfway but in the morning when I warm them up I definitely give them more of the broil um, and that's how I warm it up and I like to pack these for the boys and this was a, such an easy recipe that you're going to see very soon now I, you're seeing me cleaning out the lunch bag because <laughs> there were some fermented veggies that I packed for them the previous day and it just leaked all over in the bag that was fun and um, so the food that I was talking about it's very very easy I just used some pork and uh, peas and I use lots of garlic that's the secret lots of garlic some pepper and salt and and I cook them and then I slice the potatoes and I just put everything in a casserole and pop them into the oven The breakfast pie is done so I'm just going to take it out and pop in the lunch that they're going to eat for lunch and I love this little oven and it can hold a lot so I can use a big casserole dish in there but the reason I really like it because it warms up so much faster than the other one than the conventional one the big one and I don't have to bend over as much <laughs> well, that's I let's face it that's a big factor to me <laughs> it's just very convenient to use and I think we can save some electricity that way that it warms up faster than the conventional one This dish tastes so amazing but the other thing I wanted to tell you you need to use a lots of salt because potatoes and pork they both love salt. You get a still one. Okay, maybe two. I 
I bought these napkins a few years ago at World Market and I just love the size and how soft they are and also the pattern it hides a lot of spots and stains and uh, I just love to wrap these because once they open they particularly we they have a tablecloth so a clean surface to eat on and it's very easy to grab me fighting with the watermelon so Joet <laughs> came into the room and he just took over <laughs> and I'm eating again oh my goodness <laughs> as I'm editing I'm just realizing how much I eat during this video <laughs> the food into the cooler I realized this is not gonna work out because I need one for the hot stuff and the other one is for the cold like the watermelon and the water <laughs> so I bought in the other cooler and I love this one this backpack one it's very convenient so I had one for the cold stuff and one is for the hot food I like to pack some extra snack for the road when they are coming home because I know everybody is tired and just hungry when they sit in the car on the way home. So I was out any kind of snack and I just had to be creative what I have in the pantry and that was popcorn so that's what I did and packed for them. After the breakfast, I'm going to do a very quick reset in this bedroom. Well, a little bit more than a reset because I'm going to do a little bit of a dusting as well. And 
whatever I saw that needs it needed some dusting I got it done So I've been thinking on how to decorate this area in the bedroom and also in the living room area. So I bought some huge uh, picture frames and I looked online like how much it costs to purchase a huge print and I decided, you know what, I'm just going to paint one. <laughs> I don't know where it goes. I still don't know at this point as I'm doing the voiceover. So we will see, but something will come out of that and something will be hang on the wall and I've been working on this one recently. I made some fermented vegetables a while ago but we are out of it so I'm going to prepare some right now and Joat and the kids are at Costco so there's more things that I need to process today but this is something I want to finish hopefully before they get back and I got some reddish and this is something I'm going to use for something else because it's kind of licking the color way too much so it blends everything together into one color so I'm just going to use the red red the green cabbage and I have some zucchini from my garden and I got some beautiful colorful peppers some cucumber purple onion and carrots and for the spices I got some bay leaf a little bit of a garlic and I got some salt and mustard seeds and I'm gonna need some vinegar I shared this recipe a few times but I'm sharing it again because I just want to show you how many different kind of vegetables you can use so each time I add or switch around a few of the vegetables basically the more colorful it is then it will be more tasty as well so this is a brush that I bought for my face but it was just really too strong for my face so I've been using it to clean vegetables and it works amazing. I got this one from an Asian store, it's called the H Mart and I love that it has a square shape and it's kind of flat so it's very easy to gather vegetables in there. This shape is very practical. After I washed the vegetables, I'm just going to chop them up and you know anything that is harder like carrots they should be cut very thin and zucchinis can be cut a little bit thicker and the same applies to the cucumber as well everything that is softens faster that should be a little bit thicker and all the rest is just thin slices but all the salt and the spices that i'm going to use just bring together all these flavors that all these vegetables have you can't go wrong with that the more vegetables you use the more colorful it is the more tastier it will be. At the beginning I always try to just stay disciplined <laughs> and just use a few of them but as I go on I just add more and more and they add up very very quickly so I feel this even this huge ball very fast and it's so hard 
to mix them together so i make a lot of mess while i do that but also i have some tools uh, again asian store have this very nice wooden i think it's a roll pin that you're supposed to use on the cookies but they are an excellent tool in the kitchen as simple as they are the more function they have and that's what i use to crush all the vegetables and basically the crunching either if you do it by hand or with this tool that i have um, it just speeds up the process or start to do the fermenting and i added some apple cider vinegar you can leave out the maple syrup i don't usually add to it but i wanted to give some to my friends and i was thinking maybe they would enjoy a little bit of a sweetness in there so i added a little bit of a maple syrup and also i brought in some chives and green onions from my garden just to make it even more colorful Okay guys, it's done. So I'm going to let it sit here. You can leave it out for four hours at least, at least the four hours, but even longer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just leave it out for the night and in the morning, I'm going to fill them into jars. My only warning is that is really messy. I mean, really messy. One, two, three, four. Let's do five. Since I do a lot of food preparing, the kitchen floor is always, always need some cleaning. Especially that day, I had a very dirty floor because we bought in some watermelon. <laughs> and I made this um, fermented vegetable as well. So there was a lots of sticky things on the floor. And also if I use my vacuum cleaner, it's usually, it, it does a very nice job around the floor, but in the corners, I have to change the attachment and go into just a more detailed cleaning because all the crumbs and everything just stuck into those corners. I really love this steam up. It truly cleans the floor like squeaky clean and I don't have to use any cleaners. So it's been pretty amazing. Next day in the morning, I started to fill the 
fermented veggies into jars and it's as you can tell it was very easy to make and it's super healthy and it's very easy to serve on the summer as a side dish Well, that was it for the today's video thank you so much for watching until the end i appreciate you having here thank you so much and i will see you soon bye